Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. My name is Justin. I paint pictures because it just helps me physically and mentally, and it just helps with so many things that I want to relay this to you. That's why I'm here uploading these videos on this channel, because my hope is that you'll pick up a paintbrush, you'll try to follow along, or not even follow along, but you'll pick up a paintbrush and you will try to do this on your own because it truly does help and that is just what I'm doing here. Not here to compete or do anything like that. I just wanna to try to get you guys into it. Just, just get you painting, that, that's what my goal is here. Do me a favor, make sure that you like, subscribe, turn the bell on, do all of the things. This way you don't miss my next upload. I don't wanna to talk too much, let's go ahead and jump into today's painting. It's gonna be a fun and an easy one, just like all of them. All right, so one of the things that I did was I did take uh, some of the uh, clear gel by Gamblin. I'm gonna link that below. I'll also link the video. I don't know if I'll put a card here. If not, it'll be in the description. If you guys don't know what the clear gel is, I actually made a video on how to use it and how to apply it. I did put some here and I put some in this area here, sky area and some water, okay? So let's go right here. Let's start throwing some of this guy in. So I'm gonna use a little bit of all the, oh, by the way, all the colors are listed below. For anybody that has questions about the colors, okay, they're all down below. I'm gonna take some blue and just a touch of, uh, touch of black and maybe a little dot of red too. We'll see what this looks like, all right? I always give it a quick wipe on the paper towel and even wipe some more off. All right, start here in the corners. And I'm not gonna go all the way over here, maybe a little bit, because I have a bunch of trees in this area over here. So I'm not worried about that right now. All right. I always start in, you know, in the top row like this. Get that color nice and dark. All right, now I'm gonna scooch over into, I'm gonna take some white. I didn't clean the brush. I'm just gonna drop that in. I'm gonna get some more white. It'll really just kind of lighten this up as it goes down. And then I'll come back and just give it a quick, like a, a blend. And like I said, on the left side here, there's, I'm gonna have a bunch of trees, so I'm not really, uh, I'm not too concerned about that. I don't want, you know, if you wanna put color there, you can, but it doesn't, I don't think it's gonna matter. I don't think any of the sky is gonna show through. All right, so I'm just working down, working down. And I have that clear gel mixed with a little bit of white on here. So it is helping this paint kind of just flow nice and easily. All right, I'm gonna go right down to the area where the gel stops, a little bit more white. A little bit more white paint in there. All right. And when you put the, yeah, that's, that's low enough. That's too low, actually. That's fine. When you, put the, uh, when you put the gel on, if you look at the canvas on a side angle, you can see the glare of it, which, which really helps. All right, so now I'm gonna, you can do two things. You can just give this a quick blend. You see how there's like a dark line up there? I'm gonna go back into our color I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of red to our sky color. And I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna kind of break that straight line up. A little too purple. So I'm just gonna wipe the brush off on the paper towel. See what that does for us. I just don't want a straight line. I want it to be more of like a, a nice transition from a darker color to a lighter color. which kind of helps with depth and, and things like that. All right, and I'm not cleaning my brush to come back and, and blend it or anything like that. I'm just kind of using the same dirty brush. And just kind of smooth, smoothing things out just a little bit. All right, I do want to throw some color down here while we are at it. So just take our sky color that we used up there 
and just put some of it here. It doesn't really matter how this color goes in. All right, but once again, I have the gel in certain areas on this canvas. And I'm starting at the bottom here and working my way up just like this. All right. And if you put if you put it in areas where <clears throat> you know, where you don't use it, you can go right, you know, over top of it with a tree or, or whatever. So it, it can be covered up. I'd rather have a little bit. I'd rather have it in areas, you know, a big enough area rather than have to, you know, add it later. All right, let me get a little bit of our, I'm going to get a little bit of that red and mix it in just because there's a little bit of, that's too much. So I'm going to wipe it off. No, oh, way too much. I need the more blue. I love wiping this on the paper towel. A little darker, that's fine, no problems. <clears throat> that's all right. Just get that color down. You know, you can change it as you go. Okay, <clears throat> a little bit more. I'm just gonna put some here, I, I'm not sure. I got some bushes and stuff happening, so. All right, I think that's about right. Now, now that we got that, it might show through, it might not show through, but I'm going to just grab real quickly. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to grab a filbert brush real quick and a little bit of uh just a little bit of white. A little bit of white paint. I'm going to just maybe in this area here, I'm just going to, you know, just quickly you know, throw in like an indication of you know, where, where some clouds are and, and, and things like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. doo, doo, doo. Like I said, some of it will show, some of it, some of it may not. I mean, this is going to show because I don't have any other layers going over top of this. Just for some movement, you know what I mean? All right, let me uh, set, set that down real quick. I'm just going to use this dirty brush. I'm just wiping it off, see? I'm just going to soften this a little bit, see how it looks. I, I didn't really want these to be real distinct clouds. Like, I just wanted it to be there in the sky. So whether, you know, you can notice them or maybe you won't notice them. I'm not sure. Let me step back. Take a look there. All right. Now we are having trees over here, so I think just for the sake of, uh, I'm going to extend this little one here. Just going over like this. Something like that. You see, there's not a lot of effort put in. You just get the color up there and forget about it, you know? Get it up there, blend it a little bit. And then, and then move on. <coughs> All right. Okay. So now, since we got the filbert, I'm gonna just take. I'm gonna take some blue, blue, black, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of red. And I'm just gonna. It's gonna be just a dark color. But I want to. I'm gonna make a small mountain, but I want to make it um, <coughs> with the filbert instead of uh, instead of making it with the knife. All right, and I got some I got some white into this color because I want it to be a little bit further away. All right, let's see what we got here. So I want to put because this is our area here. So I want to do I want to make it a smaller. Hmm. Yeah. So I want to go like this. Just a little guy, you know. Get my basic shape in here. Let's see here. All 
I'm just adding just a little bit more of the, uh, the blue color. And I'm going to put a little bit of red in there also. Because I was wanting a little like a purple color. So I wanted, like I said, I want this to be a little further away. Maybe I'm going to put... Yeah, something like this. I'm just going to... We'll see how that looks. All right, let me wipe off the filbert. I'm going to go right back to this dirty brush here, and I'm going to see how this works. Just distribute some of this color down. Okay, good. That does have a little bit of a purplish cast, which I was hoping for. And that clear, uh, <clears throat> that, that clear gel and a little bit of white, you know, helps this to be able to, like, slide around. Okay. Trees over here, not too worried about that. Just fix this a little bit there, boom. And if you want, you can come right back in and, and you know, you can make adjustments to this, you know, if you want to. Like this, all right. Maybe this one is a little bit higher. Or you could raise the whole thing if you want. Something like that. All right, back to the one inch. I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. I'm actually going to see I'm going over the sky too. I'm just making it, I want it to be far away. I am going to put a little bit of that highlight color that I'm going to make here in a second. All right, back to the filbert. Filbert white, a little bit of our color that we made for the mountain. So it turns out to be sort of like a gray color. Don't want no, don't want a, like a pure white. So I'm thinking, yeah, something like this. Can make that just a little bit more white. See? All right, just scribble some stuff in here like this. All right, now. Let's go over to some blue. So I'm just going to take some blue and white and just make a little, and there's a little bit of the mountain base color in there too. And let's see if this is too strong. No. Okay. And just come in and just you know put these little shadows wherever. All right, and then you can. I'm gonna now. I am gonna take a little bit of the pure white color. Just a little bit. I'm I'm still using the filbert. And I just want to come like this. And I'm gonna drag the filbert. Now remember, I want this to be you know further away, so. I don't want it to be super close. So the more de you know, the more detail you put on this thing, it's going to look it, it'll look closer. You know what I mean? Okay, back to the blue, the shadow color, and same thing. You know, just drop in a few little shadows. All right, something like that. Pull some of this white, connect it with the shadows so it doesn't look like a bunch of straight lines. All right, set the filbert back down, back to the, uh, back to the one inch here. And I'm really gonna just kind of grind the bottom of this here, just little circles. And I'm gonna sweep across this because It'll just kind of help like push it, you know, push it far, far back. And you can even drag some of it like this. Keep the top a little bit more in focus. And hopefully that'll, uh, you know, just really sell the effect of it being far away. 
All right, let me rip this paper towel off here. All right, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to go into some white and see what this does here. Yeah, that works. That works. I'm just using some pure white. I wanted to create a misty look, hopefully. Something like this. All right, all right. Okay, wiping off the uh, Wipe it off the one inch brush. All right, now, <clears throat> before I go too far, I'm gonna grab my filbert here. And I don't know, I'll just use some of our, I guess our base color for the mountain, doesn't really matter. But I want to make a sketch of where we're going so I know where I'm going. So this is gonna wrap around like this. There's some stuff here, okay? All right, you get the idea. And these help. These sketches, in my opinion, they help. All right, this goes around like this. It kind of works this way, and it goes that way like this. We have some stuff here, reflections and all that stuff. We have, we have a big old bush thing there. A little bit of water you know, sneaks back in here. Bush is here, all right. Now, I just got to change this here because that I don't want that to look like it's going super far back. I wanted it to be a little bit closer. So, we have some land that kind of goes across like this. Okay, I might have to change. See, I might have to change the, uh, the angle of this to make that land fit in right there. Something like this. All right. Something like that. Okay, all right, let's move right along here. So I put this mist in, and I was hoping that would help us because I'm gonna put some trees. And I think, let me try to use the filbert. So let's get, let's make a color here. Let's take some of our blue. I'm gonna take blue, green, and a touch of black. And I'm gonna scoop up some white. Just a little bit, just to lighten the color up. These trees aren't real far away. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. So I'm just mixing some blue, pretty much some blue, black, and green right now. And there's a little bit of white in, just it lightens it up maybe a shade, just so it's not pure black. All right, now, I got the filbert. Let's see how this looks. So I want to have some trees, like these are close trees, like this is a closer scene. So I'm going to do this. All right, I'm going to try that there. there. And I'm just going to try to use the filbert to make these little, little pine tree things. Something like this. And, and you could take your time making these too because they come out better, you know, if you take your time. And that mist in the background should help. And I, you see how I keep reloading, I keep going down to reload because it's important. All right, so there's one. You know, and you can go back and make little other little branches and stuff just so it doesn't look all, you know, symmetrical and things, you know, grow some together. I'm getting more paint. I want to put one right here, right about there. Because these trees here are closer. Maybe we're at like a little lake or something, you know, and 
we can see the other side of the lake. It's not far. All right. I'm just going to just keep going. You know, I'm just going to keep on going. As a matter of fact, if you want to make it easier, you can actually just look at this. Watch this. Throw some color in. See this? Throw some color in there, there, like this. And you can actually raise, you know, raise some of these up by, you know, scrubbing or whatever to get some background stuff. You know, a little, it'll show a little depth later on down the road, hopefully in the picture, you know. Like these are background trees. So I'm just scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Leaving the dark at the bottom because the dark helps when it's at the bottom. You know, drop another one here. I'm just pushing with the uh, filbert. You can use the fan brush for this too if you want. Leave a little bare spot. That always helps <laughs> sell the effect. All right, make some small little ones here, little details. You know, stuff like this. What do I want to do? I want to put one that's a little bit bigger right there. Leaning this way, though. I don't want them all to lean. And you got to be careful. Like, I'm left handed, so some of these things may lean to the left. You got to actually go in and make sure that that doesn't happen. All right, another one there. These don't have to be super, you know, super perfect. You know what I mean? Like I said, you can come in and add little branches like here. You know, you can do all kinds of things. I'm going to put, I think I should put one more right there, like this. I'm going to leave this one a little bit lighter of a push. So maybe it'll appear behind. The lighter the touch, the better off it'll, you know, look further away, if that made sense. Okay, all right, so there we have a little row of our trees right there. So I'm gonna take a little bit more green, black, and some blue. All right, green, black, and blue. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just want to, I just wanna drop in, figure out where our land is here. Okay, that's gonna end up being water. This is land here, that's land. All right, I'm going to put some, yeah, stuff in there like this. So I'm just getting this color in right now, okay? I'm just going to get a little bit more black into that. And you see I'm just getting this in. I'm not worried about too much. I'm just getting the, the color in. You can work with it afterwards. I always say that. But it's true. You work with it after the fact. All right, and then here, you know, if you look, we'll just tap some of this together so there's no straight lines, because there's no straight lines in uh, nature. Well, maybe there is, but you, you, you know what my point is? Like, all right, there really isn't too many straight lines. All right, so we got that there. All right, now back to our color, a little bit more black, a little bit more blue in this one. And I want to do the same thing. I want to get, see this here? This is pretty dark. I just want to get our basic color in. And it's pretty dry over here, which will, you know, work to our benefit because it's not going to be all muddy. All right. And we got some trees we're going to add in here and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to scrub upwards. If any of this shows through, it's going to just look like background material. See? stuff like this. You can scrub some in up here <clears throat> like this. And you, you don't have to be like, you don't have to get worried about this here because this is just going to look like, yeah, background stuff. That's all. And when we get to the edges, we'll really, you know, we'll make it a little bit more detailed. But I just wanted to get something in here right now. Okay. All right, let's see here. I'm going to step back. It 
looks good. All right, looks good. Okay, we'll work on this more here in just a second. Yeah, making sure my audio is working. All right, good. <laughs> All right, excuse me. Now, let's, you know what, since we're at it, we might as well, I'm going to take some more black and some more blue and green. So right here, this is, this is like almost 100% dry. I want this to be dark. I'm just getting the basic color in, just like we did up here. I'm using the filbert still. Haven't cleaned any brushes or anything like that yet. I don't ever clean brushes, by the way. Okay. Just getting that color in. And sometimes it takes a couple extra seconds, but scrub the color, you know, scrub it in and it'll it'll go a long way. All right, we got some, I think I have a bush or something that's gonna be coming up right here, so I don't have to worry about this here. You know, something like in there like that. This is water here, we'll work on that reflection in just a minute. Uh, let me redefine this, because this actually comes down just about like this. Something like this. These are all, that's why I say get the color and those are things you can do after the fact, okay? Now before I go too far, let me just grab the, uh, I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to see, I'm going to see what I can do here. I'm going to, I am going to pull some of this color down. It's just a super easy way, you know, for us to get a reflection. Very, you know, very effective, effective way. All right. And you see the gel is, is actually very, th it's like thick and it's like sticky. So it, it takes a couple extra pulls. It's not really like that um, <clears throat> traditional, you know, pulling one down, one swipe and you're good to go. It's much, uh, a little bit more work than that, but it's worth it. All right, let's move on to here. And we're just getting all of our basic elements in. I'm actually going to dip into a little bit of the dark color, right? Because that's going to be a big old shadow there, just like that. I'm going to wipe this off now, and I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth like this. Boom. Okay. Something about. Something about just like that. So we have the basic lake area in right now. Okay. All right, let me set that down. And I'm actually going to just, I'm going to wipe off the uh, filbert here real quick and see how do I want to approach this right now. Do I want to tap some in? Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go straight into some of our yellow with the filbert and it's going to turn a little bit green because I have dirty color on it. All right, so I got some of this yellowish green color on the filbert and I just want to put a little bit of color back into here because th this is like uh, there's land back here. It doesn't have to be too, it doesn't have to stand out too much. You know, but just so people know there's something there. <clears throat> you know, something, something about like that right there. So that'll show that there's something going on there. I'm going to wipe that off real quick. All right, now I'm going to, before I add in uh, our area and trees and stuff, I'm actually going to put some color over here. So I'm going to take me some actual, on the one inch brush, the dirty one inch, I'm going to take me some green and some yellow. Some nice green and yellow, touch of yellow ochre. Let's see what this does for us. I don't want it to be like a super uh, bright color because I, I don't think the light's coming from that way. 
know if this is enough. We'll see. All right, so I want to put, yeah, that, that's good. Just a little bit more yellow, maybe. I just want to get our idea of our, where is our land at here? This kind of goes this way. It goes right this way, like this. And I'm just re-tapping in. <clears throat> Just like this. Let's see, something like that. All right, that's about right. Make that a little bit more of a hill. All right, that's going to be, you know, not as, not as bright because there's a bunch of trees right there. All right, now, other side. I'm going to make, I'm just going to get this in there first. I'm going to get a little bit more yellow to make it a little bit of a brighter color. And we can always add, we can always make it brighter. <clears throat> now, I think it would be cool for like a hill right here. Drop down like this. I'm just getting more color. Just get that basic idea of what's going on in here, and you'll be good. And I'm just, I keep reloading because it's important so it doesn't turn like muddy. All right. And we can make that a little bit brighter later. Um, for the sake of some reflection, I guess we can we can put a little bit of this in there. I'm not extremely worried about it. All right, so I just did, I tapped on some of that color. I'm going to use the same brush here. And I'm just going to pull some of this down like this. All right, you don't have to do that. I'm actually going to do this now. I think this will look better. I just went into some yellow and a little bit of dark color. I just think this will be better. Now I'm going to wipe the brush off real good. I really, I'm really not trying to get the exact reflections in the water. Just the, the basic colors will will do will do what we need it to do. All right, a little bit more color here. We'll define the edge of this water here shortly. All right, we can brighten this up in a few. A little bit of color back there. Let me get some yellow ochre in here. Let me get some yellow ochre back into here. Just a little bit, not too much. Leave some of the dark. And this is at the point, I just like, this is where I like messing around with color and just different things. There's so much that you can do. All right. Okay. Moving on, moving on. I'm not going to do anything right here just yet. I'll do, we'll do that last. Okay, so now I'm going to just take the, uh, yeah, one inch brush with, it's got some, you know, our base color, our mountain color, some green on there. I'm just going to get some on and <clears throat> let's see how this works. Let me fold this paper towel before I end up wearing the paint. All right, make sure there's no big blobs on there. And I'm just going to, let me hold this here. A little bit more paint. I'm just going to tap some of this stuff in there. Or you can do circles, it doesn't matter. You can tap, punch, push, whatever you want to do. Some areas I'm going to want to tap though, because I want some of these trees to stick out like that. Let me get a little bit more green into the mix, like this. Make some areas darker than others. And I just keep going back into the paint 
make it darker down here at the base and use different methods, you know, tap some and swirl some in, do different, do different things because you're, you'll find out what you like doing, you know, versus what I'm doing. See? And be careful, you don't want your tree to grow all the way across there. Okay, let me set this down real quick. Get the, uh, let's grab our filbert. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just take some, some brown and some black. 50-50 mixture. Brown and black. And let's do this. All right, one tree there. Some more brown and black. And we'll put one here. Like this. And maybe we'll put one more. Maybe we'll just put one more. Kind of like. It kind of goes off the canvas. Somewhere back there. Something like that. You know, and then you could put your little, you know, branches and things in. Stuff like this. Make this a little bit bigger. And once again, you get to this area here and you can really just kind of mess around and see what, you know, what works for you. I'm gonna add a little small one back here maybe. You know, a few little guys there. Stuff like that. Very generic, very basic, okay? And if you want to, let's do this. Let's grab a, uh, yeah, a little bit of white. A little bit of white, and we'll just throw a little bit of uh, something in here, right? Just for the sake of not having a one-colored tree, we'll put a little light in there. See? Something like this. All right, now let's do, what are we doing here? Okay, so there was like just a, sort of like a bigger bush over here, not no big trees or anything like that. So I'm gonna set the filbert down and I'm gonna go right back into some, let's get some black, let's get some green, let's get some yellow ochre. I wanna make this a little bit of a different color maybe. Black, green, and some yellow ochre. And this was just kind of like, I don't know really know what this was, but I'm just gonna put some shapes in here. Put some shapes right here. Kind of grows right down into here. Just like a small little bush is all that really is. take uh, the filbert. It's got some of that white color on there. I'm I am going to add a few little like lines and stuff. I don't know what's going to show through or not, but you see there's like just a few little lines there. Don't take a whole lot of time doing that. All right. Okay, back to the dirty one inch brush with some yellow and some green on it. Yellow, green. I want to put on a uh, you know, just a nice little color, I guess. And I haven't thinned, uh, I haven't thinned down anything at all. So I wanna just try to drop on, yeah, that looks about right. Some nice color here. So I'll start up here on the top. And I keep reloading every single time I keep, I keep reloading this because I want it to look good and be nice and thick. I'm gonna get some yellow ochre in the mix here. Something like this. And I just keep rotating from, you know, greens to whatever yellow ochre. I'm gonna get some more yellow ochre. I'm gonna get like almost pure yellow ochre and see what that looks like. Nice, nice, very nice, I like that. 
get some more green up in there. Okay, let me wipe this off real quick. Now I'm going to get a little bit of yellow, pure yellow. Let's see if I can spot on just a few little spots with that. Make this little bush in the front here show up. Yeah, put a few little things down here too, something like that. Okay, let's put a little, give this one a little area there, there. That looks cool. Make them look natural, give them some different things happening. All right, cool. So there's that little bush there. All right, now let's see here. I think since we have this one inch going, I think we can brighten up a little bit of our area right there on, on the left side. So let's see, maybe, maybe this is getting a little bit of light right here, right? Notice I keep, I reload almost every time, almost every time I, you know, you see how much I'm, every time I go down, I'm reloading. I just wanted to brighten that up a hair. Now I'm gonna go into some yellow, pure yellow. No white or nothing mixed to it. And I do wanna put some there, dipping back into the yellow like this. If you try to really uh, extend the paint on each load, uh, you're going to make mud you don't want to do that so I suggest keep you know keep reloading it you know might be like inconvenient but it will help you your final result just my opinion let me put a little line right there okay let me step back All right, so since we have this, I'm not going to wipe this off the brush. I'm going to get some more green and, uh, you know, some ochre, green and ochre. And I'm going to go tap it like we did earlier. And I just want to put the foundation area in here. See this here? I'm going to tap. And I made that sketch. I'm going to go above it. See that? Start off above it. And then you can work with it. <clears throat> change up the colors a little bit, a little yellow ochre. You see how I'm angling it? I want it to look like it's going to drop down right in front of us. And it's going to get darker as it goes down. Something like this. Make it, let it get dark, let it get nice and dark. See that, it'll look like a little hill. <clears throat> now let's wipe this off real quick and we'll just throw a little bit of that lighter yellow on the top and that, that should help with uh, something right about there. Pure yellow, think about light, think about light shining. not too much you know maybe it's catching just a little bit maybe this guy's catching a little bit here too I don't know not too much though not too much don't want to overdo stuff you know what I'm saying all right time to wipe this off for a minute <coughs> excuse me now uh, let's grab I'm gonna get some white and it's got a little bit of a bluish green tint to it. I, I'll try it with that first and see how that does. If I don't like it, we'll change it. I don't want it to be pure, pure white. But I do want it to have like a bluish tint because I think that looks good. We're gonna, we'll start back here. Right about here. I just wanna put an indi you know, little water line right here. Okay, see, there's one. Getting some more paint on here. And then this one is, this one wraps right back there like this. And it wraps right around the front here. See that? It's coming towards me. All right, so that should look like a little 
water line, hopefully. And this one goes all the way back into there like this. And a little bit sticking out there like this. I'm gonna make that wrap right down like this. That goes right into that corner, boom, just like that. All right. Don't spend, you know, you don't have to spend too much time on that stuff. I mean, you can put like a little, you could put a ripple or two in here. You don't have to do that. You could, you know, whatever you want, whatever you're feeling. All right, now I'm going to take some green and some ochre. There is a little bit of yellow, but I just want green and ochre. And I'm tapping with the old dirty one inch brush. All right, it needs to be a little bit lighter because it's not showing up. So I'm going to have to put some yellow in there. Let's see how this looks. <coughs> yep, <coughs> good, good, good. I'm going to carefully just leave a lot of that dark in there because you're going to need it, you know what I mean? And trust me, this isn't, I would never consider my, any kind of fine art. This is fun art. Fun art and fine art are two different things. So if you want to come here, you're going to watch the fun art. There's several great artists out there that do fine art. I'm just not one of them. I'm here for the feeling, everybody. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for the feeling. Drop a little color in there, there, like this. Now, time for the yellow ochre. Just to change things up a little bit. Yellow ochre will brighten your day up. See? Put some there. Boom, just like this. Now remember, this side here, there's not too much, uh, too much light shining through there, so be careful with how much, you know, how much light, you, you know, you want to put in here. I mean, if you want to put a little bit, you know, catching on the edges, totally cool. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe, maybe this guy here, let me get some white actually, and some of that yellow. So maybe look, maybe some of that's catching right there. Lights whipping through, boom. Maybe it's catching there. Or maybe not. But I'm just, you know, just doing whatever. So that one branch, <laughs> that one branch is getting some light. Let me get some yellow ochre to mix it up. <clears throat> Put some color down there. And you can, you could just continue to, I mean, you could do you can do this all day long if you want. It's up to you. Up to you. Now, something that I shouldn't do, but I'm going to. I just want to put a little bit of a different color, maybe like a little bush looking thing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Probably shouldn't do this. Just to make it look a little bit different. So I'm going to use green, because bushes are green, right? I'm tapping right into the green. Now I'm going to go right into the uh, yellow ochre. <clears throat> and we got a bush. Maybe I should put a little bit more down there. Now I'm getting carried away. <clears throat> now I'm getting carried away. All right. Let me have a look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Every one of my paintings that I do are, are geared towards like a beginner, somebody wanting to get into it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn the bell on, and I will see you in the very next video. Take care, guys. Have a great day.